Hello everyone, welcome to the 26th tutorial to a beginner's guide on how to revit. So, we'll learn about displacement tool this time. Check out how our elements are far away from each other, kind of look like they're exploded and out of place, right? So, this is what displacement does. So, let's get started. First off, displacement allows us to offset elements in a certain view from their actual position, thus offering better visibility as well as documentation. Let's try it out. Zoom in to any element. I'm going to start with a window. Change this to fine and this to consistent. Click your window. Here, choose this displace element right here. Simply click that or wait for it and it will show a tool tooltip help for us. Click that. You will see a control tool here. Simply just drag this arrow like this or back inside. But of course, we can see it better like this here. Increase the height here or the coordinates like so. Now, we can also play around with it with the dimension parameter here in the properties palette. So just play around here. Next, we can set a path for it. Just click here and here like so kind of difficult to see i know but if you change the graphic style to hidden line you will see a broken down line there showing where it originally was you can also click that line and let's change the style to jagged doesn't seem like much but if i increase the height like so you will see the difference between jagged and style all right now we can also actually make our displacement set how click the displace element here go to edit here notice this board this new pop-up window here now let's select an element let's check let's check this other window look how it copies the displacement coordinate of the original element now if i were to press finish they are now one set like that i can control with one movement like so of course we can only we can also do this with other element not just windows let's try a wall here here and displace that like so we can also use this as another set for us we can choose apart from wall we can choose something else like this tree for example look how it displaced this component here this wall right here even if it's not even if it's in vertical area it still copies it we can use this even the floor itself like this all right so let's go ahead and finish that now of course don't be scared like you're gonna keep on clicking undo here just to go back to the way it was originally there's an easier way for that simply click the displace tool and reset now everything's back to normal so this is what displacement tool does we can also do this in 2d but only in 2023 unfortunately so let's go ahead and swap out to 2023 next but before i do that i want to show you that it's a, it's it, it we cannot do that in 2022 or any lower version go to level one of ground floor click an element here see how the displaced element tool is grayed out but here it's pinned right so let's try to unpin that just to show a proof so like everything unpin zoom in again and click a wall here see how it's grayed out now let's go ahead and start transfer to 2023 next okay so now we're in revit 2023 how to know that look here in the upper left corner you will see that the icon changed this is their new icon for revit 2023 so anyway back to the topic at hand zoom in here let's click a wall see how the displace element tool is now clickable for us so let's click that and where's the selection tool here it is so simply displace it like so there we go. We can also do it here and like this. So, okay, 
That's what the displacement tool does for us. Let's see how it works in 3D of Revit 2023. Let's do a wall. Okay, displacement works just as fine and the same here in 2023. All right, so I guess that's it for this video. If you find this tutorial helpful, please do like and subscribe. That's going to help me a lot. And I will be seeing you in the next video. Thank you very much, guys.